So I wanted to make a follow-up video on my CPU overheating in my computer, which I built myself, because uh, when, when you build your own computer, sometimes if there's problems, you don't know what to do. You know, there's multiple different parts. If you picked each part and put it in yourself, there can be so many different issues. You don't know where to really start. So um, I went like piece of hardware through piece of hardware, looked at the software and tried to figure out all these issues. And uh, I even went on some, you know, tech support boards, some forums, and a lot of people just said, oh, it's probably your uh, CPU cooler. It's not on there, right? Maybe the uh, thermal paste dried out or or whatever. It's not getting power. I don't know. They just said a bunch of things, but they were like, oh, this has to be the CPU cooler. And so I checked it. Uh, I checked the thermal paste, of course, and uh, I checked, make sure it was seated on there just right. Everything was just right. It was plugged in. Well, it was plugged in kind of right. So here's one of the issues, because there were two issues of why my CPU was overheating. One of the issues was the hardware. See, I use a Corsair H100i all-in-one uh, water cooler for my CPU, but it's not connected directly into the motherboard. So it's not just the Corsair all-in-one CPU cooler. I also use this little box called the Corsair Commander Pro, which you can can connect all the uh, CPU coolers and fans and all that to make sure all the RGB is working and everything's working just right. And supposedly this box will let you control all the fans with software instead of just pressing some hardware button. And uh, so I followed the directions on how to connect that all together, but it wasn't really cooling the CPU well enough. So when I contacted Corsair customer support, they're like, all right, disconnect the Corsair uh, H100i all-in-one uh, water cooler from the Corsair Commander Pro because originally the instructions said to connect the water cooler to the Commander Pro and then the Commander Pro to the motherboard and the power supply and all that. They say disconnect it from the Corsair Commander Pro and connect it directly into the motherboard and forget that Commander Pro. So that's what I did. That uh, fixed CPU temperatures a ton. So I just put it into the CPU fan header on the motherboard instead of that Corsair Commander Pro, which is supposed to kind of like detect everything. So that was one of the issues. That was probably, well, it was half main issue. The other half of the main issue was my own stupid user error. So I had my computer kind of over by my window and so it would be cool part of the day, but then when the sun came down, it kind of just hit, like, just this little bar of sun would hit the top of my case, which is where the fan radiator was. And so that heat from the sun would heat it up enough, or the, heat up the radiator enough so the uh, CPU cooler wouldn't work as efficiently as it should. So that was my own stupid mistake. I moved the computer out of the sun, completely out of the sun. So that, with the Corsair CPU being repositioned and replugged in, completely fixed my uh, my CPU temperatures. So if you guys are having trouble and you have the Corsair H100i and the Commander Pro, just disconnect it from the Commander Pro. You can still use your fans for the Commander Pro. Use it as a fan hub and maybe an LED, RGB LED and... RGB fan hub and all that, but don't put your uh, water cooler in there. Just connect the CPU cooler directly to the motherboard and you should be fine.